All right, welcome back, everybody. In our last episode, we just took the war to the Gauls, and we took over the new city of Massilla. We're going to go ahead and continue the campaign. We may Spy. wait a couple of turns, um, get some reinforcements. General. I don't want to rush this campaign and conquer too fast. I want to try to build up my economy, build up my cities a little bit. I've got this turn pretty much done. I'm not going to train any, train any more units yet. I'm just going to go ahead and end turn. Let's go ahead and build a blacksmith here. The Temple of Jupiter here. Patvium is going to get the land clearance. Same with, we'll get a market. Let's move our armies. Move, sir. Looks like they're sending a, uh, a weak invasion force. Sir. And they're not combining their forces together. It's a big mistake on their part. He'll probably withdraw though. Let's go ahead and just fight, fight this battle. They did get the reinforcements, but they're pretty weak. So let's go ahead and take them out. The reinforcements will be coming from the north west corner of the map. You know one thing I hate about the Gaul campaign is these trees. These trees really make it hard to see anything and it's hard to control your armies. You kind of got to zoom in really close to look between the trees. Let's go ahead. Maybe we can fight out in the clearing here. And maybe I'll put the general here. Get two equities to protect the flanks. And this guy can just be used for whatever. The enemy have brought up more men. All right, so they're way back there. So I'm gonna start marching my my infantry forward, and then we're gonna get the archers to go behind them. Now just group everyone together in a big old line. Get them closer. It'll be a while before we get to the battle. And I can see their enemy, the enemy general, right there through the trees. And I'm sure he's got all his troops hidden somewhere. This is not an ideal battle map for me. Okay, looks like they're coming forward. Let's go ahead and form our lines right here. Actually, let's have them attack. Get my infantry up here. And have them double time. Same with my general. We'll try to hit him in the flanks. I mean, my cavalry. Oh wow, we're, we're hitting them pretty good. We got that big giant tree protecting them though. Got my cavalry. And it looks like my equities got hit. And wow, they were right up on us. And now they're fleeing. Let's get my Hastadis to throw Hastari, their javelins. Hastari, Yeah, we killed those last two guys. Is 
that their general? I mean, their commander? Come on, get their commander. Hit him again. The enemy Got him. Hit him in the ankle. Good job. All right, let's get our infantry to advance. All right, let's hit this warband with our cavalry. Cavalry charge and the route. General Fleas, press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too. And then we're gonna go ahead. Attack. The gods. Be All right. Well, I wiped out that army pretty good. They don't have anybody left, and I got 380 kills. I got. I lost about. 36 guys and my general got experience and so did that little tiny barbarian cavalry to the 11 guys left Victory! all right let's get him back let's have him hide in ambush, Waiting to ambush. if the enemy comes nearby Awaiting your command. let's see if we I can trade with the Spanish finish. And get their maps. Oh my goodness, they want that much money? We'll just say no to the money. Maybe we just want to trade. No, we're not paying you for trade routes. Sorry. Sir, your honor. All right, we got some velites trained up here. Let's get them towards the front. And an equities. How we do on money? Let's recruit some more Hastati. Alright, next turn. Alright, now the Senate wants us to take Salona. Where is that? It's again, they're telling us to go on the wrong side. We're not going to do that. Senate's missions are terrible. All right, we got a new leader here, Decius Julius. Let's take a look at this guy. He's an obsessional trainer, 16 years old. Looks okay. I mean, hopefully we can get him some positive traits when he gets older. But right now, that's really good. That's a plus one morale and movement speed. Let's move him out. And over here, we're going to build... What do I want to do? Let's do a port on this side. Looks like we got a really large rebel force over here. And um, I'm going to try to get all my guys merged together and take them on. Unfortunately, he's on a bridge crossing. So what I can do... Let's get this guy here, and this guy over here. We'll have we'll have this guy surrounded, and we'll send this army over here too. And so we'll be able to hit him from both sides of the bridge. We'll lead the attack with this. Uh, no, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna control all the guys here. We've got a 20 to 3 advantage. They're mostly peasants. One barbarian cavalry. Looks like a light cavalry. Uh, should be pretty easy, but they got the bridge, so we'll have to hit them from both sides. Just start out like that. Okay, reinforcements. Looks like they're gonna. Uh, gonna let us go ahead and cross so we'll go ahead and cross the river our AI controlled units over here are just marching directly in to attack so we're going to have to rush rush this battle because I don't want my general 
to die here. So let's just get everybody over here as quickly as we can so that this other our other general doesn't just take the lead and charge in. This is crazy. What are you doing? I know they're peasants, but... Okay, looks like our cavalry made it. And I don't know why they're in loose formation. Let's go to tight formation. Let's form up over here. Let's keep these uh, warband busy. This Our reinforcement army can handle this group by themselves. We'll take on this warband. Like they took care of that army just fine. And we've got these guys surrounded. Alright, I don't want my equites hitting these guys just yet. So let's uh, do a tactical withdrawal and let these guys get exhausted chasing my cavalry. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay, I lost one. Oh, they routed. Rally, rally, rally. Alright, everybody just attack. Just charge in. Everybody just charge in. Okay, the enemy general's dead. We got him. All right, that went a lot better than I expected. Manius just went in there all by himself and ended up doing most of the killings. We lost only 28 guys, and we took out over 600, so they should be dispersed. Nice. Let's get our guys into the city. And we'll sit here for a couple more turns, and then we'll hit this city over here. Narbo... Martius. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and build a farm here. Get our population growing a little bit faster. This will be a really nice town for us eventually. Alright, let's go to next turn. Alright, so Britain wants to trade with us. Let's try to get map information first. See if they'll do that. Yep. Nice. Got another trading partner. That should improve our income. All right. Finally, we're getting a fairly large size, but just warband. Just warband. Do they have any cavalry? No. All right. We got the eruption at Etna. Let's get Decius on the road and get Captain Nero to join Decius' troops. I'm going to go ahead and train another Hastati. Let's get some troops in our capital here. We'll get an Equites over here too. And over here we're going to build... Um, let's go ahead and get the walls going. Patvium can build another building. We'll go ahead and get our sewers. Get, make sure these people stay healthy. Sir. And we're gonna just send him on down the road At too. Once. See what move finding more people to trade with. I'm gonna get another town watch. No, I'm gonna get a Velites from our from Patvium, which is our missile place. Let's get another Velites. And I'm gonna go ahead and end our turn. See what the Gauls decide to bring to us. 
And I think we will march out this turn. You don't want to delay too long. You don't want to be too defensive in this game. You've got to uh, be a little bit aggressive. All right, I'm going to try to merge my armies. Okay. And I'm going to send out everybody, I think. So who do I want to be the governor of this town? Do I want Manius or do I want Decius? Let's get, let's keep Manius in this town here. He's at least got some, he's a really bad builder though. He's going to make everything cost more. He's actually probably better to not even be in a city. So let's get Decius in here. So let's get our army on the march. Two, we'll have two Velites. Join this group. And Manius is going to join them too. Can I hire some more barbarian cavalry? No. We just got two cavalry, but four with the general. I think Imperial. that'll be okay. All right, let's get you on the road. And over here, I'm just going to go ahead and build the sewers. And we'll get better walls for Segesta. Go ahead and get more Velites. Study. Let's do more sewers and equites. All right, next turn, and we're being attacked by Gaul, but it's just warband, so we should be able to flank him with our cavalry and hit him with our missiles pretty good. Weaken them with our missile guys. Yeah, over here it looks like pretty good. Let's get our infantry. And missiles. Okay, get our infantry to line up like this. Yeah, our general in the center. He's going to hold the right flank. These two equities are going to hold the left flank. I want to get my Triarii over here. And then of course my missiles. Alright, like that. Let's start the battle. All right, he's coming from over here. I gotta adjust my lines. Let's go like this. And fire will. Now you guys are attacking me, right? So you will come to me. Our velites can hide in the. Uh, grass. That's a unique feature of them. Because they're, they don't have a lot of, they don't have the big shields that the Nastanis have, so they're better at hiding. So they'll spring up and toss their javelins at them and catch them off guard. Looks pretty good. Get our general here to lift our guy's spirits. Move our archers up a little, a little bit, but not that much. Just fire at will. Come on, archers, fire. He should be close to in range any second now. Still not in range. He just sneeze. That is cool. Oh, I saw him drop. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
We got the warband coming at us on our flanks. They're trying to outflank us, but that's not going to happen with our archers. And let's get these guys here to to form an edge. I mean a wedge. All right, let's get our general to help out over here. They're still not in range of our velites. Let's get our general here to help out on the flanks. Come on, hurry up. And the velites need to get back. Flee. Come on, get back, get back, get back. Everyone get back. General. And we gotta make sure our flanks are taken care of. We're gonna send him up here and then we'll hit him with this guy in the rear. General! Move! Move! The general's gonna help with this war band. Okay, let's check over here. Make sure. Okay, we've got one routing unit. Get over here and double time. And this guy's gonna come up here. We're gonna form a wedge shape over here. Like that. Let's go ahead and charge that group. Charge that group. Come on, flee, 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 flee. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. We'll, we'll get him. Gotta move him out. Okay, what's he doing? Is he being attacked? Yeah. The Triarii to help. Oh boy, I totally messed up this flank here. And left my general exposed. Get out of there, general. Get everybody in the fight over here. This general's been hit pretty good. Get out of there, get out of there. Just go ahead and attack. If the general hits him in a charge. We should flee. Okay, good. They're fleeing here. Let's go ahead and units! get their command units! unit over here. That's their leader. You can tell us by his flag. Attack! Archers! Out of the general's fleeing. Enemy general with fear. Now he flees the field like a coward. Form up. Looks like they're gonna rally over here, so we gotta form up. Let's get our infantry back in line. The enemy general is we got their enemy general. Fear us. It is time to press the attack. I think they're in an all-out route. So let's take my cavalry and start striking them. I think they're gonna get away though. But we'll see. We wanna kill as many as we can. Because we're probably gonna have to fight them again. Alright, well we killed most of them. We, they have about 173 guys remaining, so I don't think that's enough to wipe out the entire army. They will have something left over, but it it's minuscule. It's minuscule. Actually, no, we did wipe out that entire stack. I guess that was enough. Orders. All right, let's see if we can get some more barbarian cavalry. Yeah, these guys. I've recruit these guys, but they're way too expensive. I think we've got enough, though. Let's go ahead and maybe our spies will have the gates open. Yes, they do. 
Good job, spy. Let's go ahead and assault. We've got 20 to 3 odds. 3 warband units. Let's go fight it on the map. Oh, they are heading to the gates. Let's get them with our missiles first. We've got watchtowers over here and over here to watch out for, so... Let's make sure my missiles are in loose formation. If they come out, we'll uh, send in our infantry. Hit them, but... Probably abandon the gates. We're doing really good damage to them. And so far, the towers are not hitting us, so. You're getting awfully close, aren't you? Get our infantry marching in here. I don't want my archers. Get my cavalry to start marching here too. Let's take the gates. Looks like they're coming back. Here, run. Great gods! Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. We've taken the walls that were wide open. They're gonna break before they even even get them. Nice. Our missiles did great. Still entering the gates. What are they? Where are they going? Just line them up here, I guess. Like this. All the way across. Get our missiles inside. Can they go like this? Yeah. So we'll have the cavalry. Get them up like this. Uh, what are our guys doing? This is not remotely what I asked them to do. Line up here. Go. Normal speed. Wow, you're going to get hit in the back because you didn't follow orders. Well, I guess we have no choice but to charge in here. You guys are idiots. Look, there's their general right there. Get him. Their general, yeah. Stab him in the ankles. Back, I mean, in the Achilles. Yeah, get him. Well, he just totally missed you. He swung right above your head. Charge. There's my cavalry coming over there. Should be okay. Am I worried about losing my general? Maybe I don't know. Well, let's get Flappy instead. The enemy general is running away. This so is, is my general. <laughs> to behave, but in battle. Okay, missiles. You're gonna halt. It's beyond belief. Everybody charge, except for Flavius. Let's get out of there. You two get out of there. You're way too in the thick of it. Get out of there. I don't want to leave you. Oh man, look at him. Look at the brave Decius. Is that Manius? Brave Manius. Just gonna. 
<laughs> just hanging out with all the Gauls. He's probably going to die. Oh. Yep, there goes our general. Um, like, all of his bodyguards retreated. And he just had to... He had to just go in there, huh? The enemy general is killed! Yeah, so was our general. Well, I guess that was my own fault. I was watching the battle, and I wasn't paying attention. I didn't get him out of there. It's okay, we got plenty more generals for that. He was pretty bad, actually, so... And it wasn't our faction leader. Although... Get him out of there. Get out of there. got a few guys left but when they're cornered like this they fight to the death and they can be really dangerous the gods be praised all right well we lost 200 night guys including a general yeah what can you do heroic death as he just charged into everybody while his bodyguards retreated because we ordered him to retreat and he refused to retreat uh, we'll go ahead and enslave it. I know they don't have a very big population, but I want to get those people over to my better settlements. So, yeah, we lost a general. Let's get our scout up here to look at the lands. Yeah, and Flavius lost a lot of guys, too. So, was that the good general? So, this is the good one. Desi as well. Good. <laughs> good is a relative term for these guys. Alright. Let's take a look at this settlement. We've got another shrine to Abnoba, which is good for missile weapons. Cool. I really like that shrine. I wish we could build something to improve our missile weapons. But, uh, the Julia, I don't really have any improvements that can go them on low tax rates so they so our population can grow we don't really have anything we can build here maybe we shouldn't have enslaved them but it's too late for that now let's get sure. over here get our diplomat once. over no more moves patvium you can recruit velite so let's go ahead and do that we'll get the market going and over here i don't really need these here but just it will help to have some versatility. Um, three more turns. We'll probably get that in three turns. The governor's villa. Let's go ahead and just try to expedite that. And we're not going to build any. We're not going to build these. We'll just go ahead and try to get to the six thousand population. Probably two turns. We'll get that with six percent growth. And so we won't build anything this turn. Maybe not. E if we don't... Yeah, well, we won't even recruit Histadi. And unfortunately we did lose a leader. And a lot of guys too. Let's merge our units up. Let's get our equities in this town. I want to build some watchtowers, like right on this hill, maybe, and right on like a hill over here, Sir! but not this turn. And let's get some Velites to join up. Let's get a couple of Histadis moving out. You can move a little more than that. All right, next turn. Well, we'll take a look at Linonum yes, next. Searching for clues. You know, they're building all these shrines that upgrade missile weapons, yet they don't recruit any missile troops. They have a practice range, which can give them skirmishers, but they don't seem to be recruiting any. Just their warband. Oh, there's some skirmishers right there. and They do have that upgrade. Sir, Get our reinforcements up here. Oh, what in the world is Spain doing here? Uh, that's weird. We'll get the governor's palace. Can I recruit a Hestades that can uh, lose that? 
I don't know. Let's keep him on low tax rate. We'll recruit some more troops here. We can retrain our guys. Let's do that. That'll upgrade their weapons. I want to keep an eye on this guy. I don't know what he's doing all the way out here. That's really weird. Are they going to declare war on me? Because they wanted us, all that money from us. They tried to bribe us, or not bribe us, but force us to pay them to get all those troops. I mean, to get a trade deal. It's like $2,000 or something ridiculous like that. Can I build something here? Let's go ahead and get the uh, military. No, we'll get it. the walls here. Since we do have enemies here. But I think we can take him out. What has he got? He's got some skirmishers. He's got his cavalry, but... Uh, yeah, okay. We'll construct up here, too. Get the um, farms. Get another equites. I think that's far enough to reach this city next turn. So, in case I need to get more guys here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end the turn. We'll see what Spain does if they decide to attack us. They're probably going to threaten us, huh? Trade rights. Okay, but why are your troops in our lands? We'll try to get the map information again, because I always like to update my map skill. But why is your guy here? That doesn't make any sense. Well, he's not too tough, so I'm going to go ahead and send Forward! my Hold reinforcements to this front. Can I? No, it's going to be a while before I'll be able to build there or here. Alright. Mr. Flavius, can you go here and build a watchtower? Yes. Nice. And we'll get you back in the city. Because that gives us an extra 300 gold. And how is Aretium? We can retrain this guy. We'll build another Hastati. We'll go up to have very high tax. Oh, this, we dropped some public order up here. That's okay. We'll just do very high tax. I mean, we'll just recruit another guy, and we'll recruit another guy here, town watch. And uh, let's go ahead and upgrade my road, since this is a major route for our troops to get to the west. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end our turn. We'll, we'll keep an eye on Spain, see what he's doing here. He's got a diplomat in our lands, and also a, some, some soldiers. So let's go ahead and end turn and see what he's doing. He may attack us. That trade route might have been a ruse. Okay, Britannia spying on us. Nope. He's just happy to park his guys here. I don't know what he's doing. All right. We got Adal. We got some good offices. We get our troops moving out. To reinforce. We get Flavius to build some more. Watchtowers. What do we got as far as... We could afford that. You know, we... Want to move out. But this army should be sufficient. Alright, so I got good visibility over this land. And there's uh, their faction leader. We'll go ahead and... Uh, attack. We'll march forward next turn. And... Go ahead and build the farms here too. So we got a rebellion over here. We don't know what it is. Uh, they're, they're pretty big, so we'll go ahead and get an army ready for that. Still got to watch this Spanish. Uh, we'll go ahead and meet up right here. We'll do our faction air. Get him some combat experience. Yeah. 
We'll have to lower our tax rates because he's going out. Get some Velites here. Actually, I want to do Equites. We'll have him join there. General. Get a Barbarian Cavalry. Because they are cheaper than our own Equites. They're they got less defense but more attack. So we'll go ahead and hire this guy. And I should be able to take on these. Moves depleted, sir. These rebels. Rebel scum. Alright, move this guy out. He's gonna join the reinforcements. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and attack this uh, rebellion over here. And we're gonna use Lucius Julius, who is our factionaire. He doesn't have too much combat experience. He's a great manager, he's got good influence in the Senate, but he's just not experienced in the field. So let's go ahead and attack. I'm kinda liking this. We got a very heavy cavalry army here. And are they actually coming to me? Let's go ahead and enable fire at will from my infantry. Or are they just getting in position? No, they're just getting in position. So let's move our infantry out. And get our cavalry to flank them. Cavalry should uh, be pretty effective in this battle. Let's get these guys going. And we're going to go ahead and charge in here. Get our guys to attack. Here we go. Their warband is hitting our cavalry. Let's go ahead and flank these guys to the right. Let's go ahead and sit in our cavalry in here to flank these peasants. The warband should route soon. We're uh, doing a little bit of damage. Okay, our general's in the thick of the battle. What is he doing? We don't want him to be in the thick of the combat. Let's get their turn. And it's kind of... Well, we won. It was a little bit messier than I had hoped. We lost 96 guys. Let's take a look at the battle. No experience gained. We lost four of the general's bodyguard because they charged him in there. infantry. Well, we did get our command star, which was what I was really hoping for from that battle. I wanted to get up, to get my faction leader some combat experience, and I managed to do that. Let's get him back into Aretium. We went from 50 gold to 750. He's really good at manager. Brings us a lot of money. Here, we'll get the Legion Barracks, and that'll give us the Prince of Pace. I'm going to go ahead and lower the tax rates in Padvium, because I want this to be our missile place. We can't really build anything in Masilla, but we've got this shrine to Athena. I'm actually going to destroy this and build a shrine to Jupiter. It's basically the, the same, but it's not going to give us any culture penalty. So it'll be a huge improvement in that aspect. All right, let's get this guy on the march. Bring these two Valetais to attack this faction leader. No, I think uh, Flavius is going to want to assist in this battle. Let's uh, merge these guys up. Go ahead and get our infantry marching up. And two cavalry. And finally, the missiles. Archers. 
Let's target their war dogs with our archers. Let's get our general over here, and we're gonna do. We're gonna flank him. We got our triarii in the center. They should be able to hold. Actually, let's go after those guys. Let's do like this. Let's do a cross block. And we'll get our velites. Nah, just, just hold up. Um, yeah, you're all gonna run. Make sure these guys are attacking. And get our cavalry to double time. Alright, let's go. Their uh, heavy, heavy cavalry is about to hit our Hestadis here. That's gonna hurt. So we got our Triarii going in. We'll do attack on like this. And that is light cav, so I'm not too worried about the light cav. We've got our general and our our light cav to take them on. It's these uh, heavy heavy cavalry that. Um, let's go ahead and charge these guys in like this. And one of those guys. Those are light cav, and we don't really have a counter to those right now, so we have to watch out. Come on, General. Need you in there. Well, they got their war dogs sending. It doesn't look like they're gonna be hit. Okay, we got them routing over here on this corner. And our Velites are kind of in the thick of it. The light cav is doing some serious damage. So is their general. Uh, we got some people routing. What are we doing over here? Let's get our general back in here. And who's routing? We got some Hastati. Wow! I really messed this battle up, didn't I? Velites are fleeing. Come on, general, get back here. What are you doing chasing those guys down? Fire. This is their faction leader, so their faction leader versus our faction leader right here. And we should get him soon. He's only got five guys left. He's got some serious morale that he is not playing yet. Wow, they wiped out our Triarii. We've got a lot of guys fleeing. Get back in position! Wait a second. Where's their... Did we t kill their general? Why didn't I get the general announcement? Looks like they're withdrawing. Here's their general. He's still alive. Can our Velites take him out? No. Looks like he's gonna escape. What a costly victory for us. Oh wow! Our Velites took out two more of his bodyguard. It's just him all by himself. Let's just mop up what we can here. Our sub well, this was really disappointing. This is what happens when you go into battle without a balanced military. 
we had way too many missiles, not enough infantry, and not enough cavalry. So we just got an average victory, which means we actually took more losses than the enemy. Uh, so we did get some experience, but it was a very costly victory. Victory! And we allowed him to escape. We allowed uh, Rhianorix to escape. Let's see what we got here. We got a decorated hero. So we can get some discounts. So I don't think we're healthy enough to proceed with the attack. We've got to um, wait a little bit. Let's get him back into town. March! And with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and put in a cut here. Thanks for watching. Bye.